Hello all, a warm welcome to everyone tuning in to the Oracle IAM Insights session today. My name is Sandeep Banerjee, Vice President of Product Development for Oracle Cloud Platform and Infrastructure Services, including Identity and Access Management. I'll use this session today to summarize the vision and the journey we have embarked on to modernize our customers' identity and access management infrastructure. Recently, our Senior Vice President of Identity and Access Management Development, Eleanor Merritt, had published these perspectives in the Oracle Cloud Security blog and newsletter. Oracle has been in the IAM business for more than 20 years, and we have seen it all. We have addressed numerous IAM use cases across the world's largest, most complex organizations and for their most critical systems and applications. We have traveled with our customers through their various highs and lows and have helped them drive significant technology and business transformations. But as we close out our second decade of IAM, we are too distracted to be nostalgic. We are distracted by our IAM team's enthusiasm for the future and by the impact we'll have on our customers' businesses in the decade to come. Central to that is the focus to respect our customers' identity and access journey and meet them with solutions that fit their individual needs. It is widely regarded that Oracle offers best-in-class IAM solutions that serve a variety of functions and use cases. Oracle now manages hundreds of millions of identities in the cloud, making us one of the most popular cloud identity providers with unmatched geographical coverage via Oracle's 30 cloud regions and counting. But our work is not done. We have rolled into the 2020s with momentum and we are picking up speed. We released numerous impactful features across our IAM portfolio and partnered with many customers on successful IAM upgrades and cloud transformations. I'll take you through a few of the areas where we have made significant progress. Oracle Identity Cloud Service, also known as IDCS, supports all the common IDAS use cases like strong and adaptive authentication, social logon, passwordless logon, bi-directional synchronization to on-premises, and provisioning to on-premises and cloud enterprise applications. It now also supports some of the not so common use cases like factor-specific multi-factor authentication via sign-on policies, user managed consent for terms of use, rule-based authorization policies for enterprise applications, entitlement assignments for enterprise applications via application roles, API-based app management, and allow and deny lists via IP-based network parameters. Oracle Access Manager, also referred to as OAM, serves use cases where customers prefer to fully manage and control their access management deployment, perhaps because they want to deploy it on premises and avoid having to rely on an internet service for authentication, or maybe because they want heavy customization. OAM is now deployable in containers simplifying operational cost. The OAM Snapshot tool now helps move and improve on-premises workloads to cloud environments, and it also helps with OM upgrades. OM has also been updated to support passwordless logon, OAuth, consent management, just-in-time provisioning, multi-data center lifecycle automation, OAP over REST, and password management that supports multiple password policies for different groups. Oracle Identity Governance, also known as OIG, provides an identity and governance administration solution that's more robust than the IGA typically delivered via IDAS solutions. OIG is now deployable via containers as well, 
and is being transitioned to a microservices architecture that enables quick feature updates without lengthy software upgrades. Enhanced wizard-based application onboarding, access policy harvesting, and self-service business-friendly access catalog empower business owners to take control of entitlement access and minimize IT operational inefficiencies. Focus Reviews makes certification more manageable and allows for building campaigns towards specific compliance goals like GDPR and SOX. Oracle Unified Directory, OUD, is an all-in-one directory solution with storage, proxy, synchronization, and virtualization capabilities that meets carrier-grade scale and performance requirements. OUD is now deployable in containers as well, and the new Skim REST API service provides programmatic support for accessing identity information, such as users, groups, et cetera, and performing functions like querying, retrieval, create, update, and delete. I mentioned containers a few times when I referred to access management, governance, and directory before, but it's an important step for us to make these available in containers. Now with containers, customers can move from bare metal or virtual uh, machine-based installation to other deployment choices that are better suited for multi-cloud and modern, modern data center deployments. All three components of access, governance, and directory are available as IAM images in the Oracle Cloud infrastructure marketplace, making it quick and easy to get up and running on the latest versions. In addition to the significant progress we have made on products and the technology, we are also improving the way we support our customers' journeys. With the help of Oracle Consulting, Oracle Advanced Customer Services, and several partners globally like Accenture, Bias, Deloitte, Capstone, Persistent Systems, and Simeo, we have launched a world-class upgrade program to simplify the upgrade experience for our customers. With this, customers can quickly and cost-effectively upgrade and benefit from the business value and simpler ownership offered by our latest IAM versions. Hundreds of customers are already engaged in this process and the results have been really promising. Looking forward, we are extremely confident in Oracle's ability to address virtually any IAM requirement. Can be across functional areas of identity governance and administration, access management or directory. Can be spanning various deployment models of SaaS, cloud hosted, VMs, containers, managed services or self-managed by customers supporting various user types, uh, including employees, partners, consumers, and citizens. Uh, targeting various workloads like IIS, SaaS, packaged applications or custom applications, be it on-premises or in the cloud, and databases. And of course, the solution is very appropriate for businesses of all sizes and it can span multiple geographies. Our customers deserve choice, and we are confident that in our ability to provide the most appropriate solution to address their unique requirements. Before I conclude the session today, I do want to remind you to tune in to Oracle IAM Insights regularly and stay in touch with what's new and exciting in Oracle's IAM portfolio get tips and tricks to run your IAM infrastructure better, and to listen to your peers' experiences with Oracle's IAM solutions. In the meantime, you can test drive the Oracle identity solutions by going to the links mentioned here. I once again want to thank you for tuning in to today's Oracle IAM 
Insights series. Uh, we look forward to seeing you at the next one soon. Thank you again.